Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am in London at London's Heathrow Airport Terminal 3 off to Dubai and I'm going to be flying with Emirates business class so I thought I would vlog the experience, show you what it's like. It's been a long time since I've flown with Emirates and a long long time since I've flown Emirates business class so hopefully it should be an interesting vlog. I'm going to Dubai to visit family so this isn't really a holiday of sorts. Obviously I'll get to relax there seeing my family so in some ways it is but I'm mainly going there to see my family for Christmas. So yeah come along with me hopefully it's going to be a very fun exciting journey with Emirates Airlines. So yes, welcome. Welcome to an Emirates Airlines business class flight. I'm currently standing in front of the lounge, the Emirates lounge at Heathrow Airport. So I'm going to go in in a second and obviously show you what they have going on in there. It is an afternoon flight. Our flight is at 3.50, 3.50 p.m. So I'm presuming they might have some snacks or lunch items. We are going to have a look at that in a second. But I did want to quickly talk about the check-in process as well. Obviously flying business class, it means that we got to do go through fast tracks with both security and passport control and bag checking as well, which made life very, very easy, very quick. To be honest though, I don't think the airport's that busy anyway, even like the economy line for Emirates today didn't look too bad. Maybe we just got here too early, who knows. The Emirates lounge is in the E area of Heathrow Airport's Terminal 3. And just from outside you can see they've got the beautiful Emirates plane just displayed over there. And then this is the main entrance, so I'm going to head in now, show them my boarding pass and show you around. So just come inside. They do have some lifts, elevators, if you want to use those. But I'm just going to take the stairs. It's on level two, apparently, the actual lounge area. They have a lot of interesting artworks just even on the way up from the stairs, which is always fun. I'm so happy to be going back to Dubai, to be honest. Like, it's one of those things where any time I get a chance to, I try to go there to visit some family. And it's been a while since I was last there. It's been a whole year, I want to say. There you go. This is the lounge area. You can see the lifts that also would bring you up to this level. These are some of the artworks going on here. It's very bougie, you know. Emirates, just as an airline, is very much all about kind of making everything look as glamorous as possible. That's just a vibe with the UAE and Dubai in general. I mean, look at all the Rolex clocks here. Sydney, Hong Kong, London, Dubai and New York. Anyway, let's quickly have a look at some of the food they have on offer at the moment for the kind of early afternoon time. There's some cheeses here, some grapes. Oh, those cheeses look amazing, actually. Looks to be some kind of chocolate orange and cranberry Christmas cake or log, if you like. Here we've got a tart of some sort, some fruits. Everything is displayed really nicely as well. And then it says here if you have any allergies, you can just ask the staff members here and they should be able to help you out. Oh, look at that. Quite a few Middle Eastern food items here as well, which is exciting. There's some hummus as well and some cute butter, which is exciting. On the other side here, again, we have a lot of really nicely presented food. So we've got grilled vegetables over here, some salads by the looks of it, some more fruits, loads of um, like drinks and stuff, different juices by the looks of it, beetroot juice, fresh orange juice, I might have to go for that, some more hummus, etc. Um, what's this? Some vegetables, little dips and stuff that you can get, some chive dip, yogurt chive dip. They have this whole selection of, I want to say it's just water, maybe like sparkling and still water, which is always good. Some nice glasses for you as well. And then here, Lord have mercy, season's greetings it says. You do actually have the menu up there to tell you exactly what you can get here. Lamb chops with rosemary juice, turkey roast, selection of cheeses, etc. So we're going to quickly just have a look at them. I'm probably not going to be able to talk about all of them in detail because I don't really even know but oh my god that roasted potatoes looks really divine we've got some bread rolls we've got some chicken and leek pie over here that's interesting let's see what we've got here it says uh, caution hot so that's the that's the soup I'm not gonna actually go in there but you can see you can imagine minted pea soup in there um, these are obviously the bowls for the soup if you wish to get them. Indian pickle over here, some raita, some papadum rolls. Oh, look at that. This is my dream come true. They've got these cute little Heinz uh, jars of mayonnaise. I love them. 
so cute i mean i don't know if i'm going to be using mayonnaise today but it's not that they have them they also have ketchup i think and then mustard as well and then this last bit of hot sections you can see we've got some rice some vegetables some chicken biryani wow i might have to go for that that looks really good i love chicken biryani lamb chops with rosemary that's also probably uh, an option for today poached salmon with basil oil and then some ravioli here as well so there you go here's a, another quick look at all the food options that they've got going on here honestly this is a fantastic lounge compared to some of the other business lounges that i've been to i just have to say already emirates is one of the best ones well i've got my first plate trust me to go for like main courses straight away i went for the roast potatoes one of the lambs and then i think this was like a chicken and leek pie and then i've got some um like cheese on there as well and of course i went for a mayonnaise as well there's so many cool options like starter wise i definitely want to try some of the hummus later on but first we're gonna eat some of this <laughs> also before i eat i wanted to show you on the tables they've got these little glasses with flowers in them i mean look at that again it's all about making everything look glamorous and i love that that's just that's my mom's plate by the way my mom is also traveling with me today she's just gone to get some more food but yeah here we go we have our first plate i'm just going to try a little bit of the potato first because i'm very curious about it about to try some of the lamb now Oh wow, the lamb is where it's at. The lamb looked amazing, I'm sure you would agree. Let me know why you guys think just from the way it looks, but it tastes phenomenal. So flavorsome, so juicy as well. I just love lamb anyway, but this is definitely a good one. And the pie, lastly. I'm not sure why I even went for the pie. It was just there looking at me, so I thought, why not? <laughs> wow. Now I know why I went for the pie, because the chicken and leek pie is delicious and i'm not normally one to like pies i'm just not the biggest fan of pies i don't normally go for them like i just don't eat them often unless it's just there for me like it was here at the emirates lounge and it's really really good very delicious my mom just got herself a selection of cheeses for her second plate she just gone to get some more food as well there's honestly such a good variety of food here that it's a little bit worrisome because we're going to get fed on the flight as well so lord have mercy my mom just come back with her second plate she went for the biryani the dal in the vegetarian curry her plate looks amazing actually phenomenal well my mom enjoyed her food i think she said that was actually her second plate of biryani in her first plate she also got some of that so i'm thinking of potentially trying a bit of it i'm not quite sure there's so many options as i said the key to being able to actually make the most of the business lounge with emirates is to not eat beforehand so even though it's like around 1 30 p.m at the moment this is my first meal of the day i've not eaten anything all day and here we've got it my second plate and probably my final plate to be fair because i do want to make sure i've got some space for the actual flight i went for some arabic bread some oh, i think it was just like some kind of yogurt with chives thing i just wanted to get one of the butters because they looked cute and then look at all the lambs i've got who knows if i'm going to be able to finish all this but it was so delicious the lamb with the rosemary juice it's just amazing it's my favorite thing that i've tried got some rice this time around instead of potatoes so yeah bon appetit well my second plate was just as nice as the first one the lamb was really delicious i would have probably gotten another one of the chicken and leek pies as well because i really enjoyed that as well but i just didn't think i was going to be able to finish that i prefer the lamb a little bit to the pie and I just didn't have enough space to get both but um, yeah we've still got about an hour or so until our gate is shown we did come quite early as I said and the lounge has now become a lot more quiet which is why I've moved we've got a much better spot now we can actually see the planes in front of us including a Virgin Atlantic plane over there as you can see which I did actually go on a Virgin flight not so long ago to go to LAX check out my vlogs from Disneyland if you haven't already and then we've also got Emirates Emirates itself one of the big planes here just waiting I also just love these tables it would have been nice to eat here obviously i'm done eating now so i'm just chilling but um yeah it's just a nice little spot to be able to look at all the planes in front of you as you enjoy your meal oh and that might be a ba1 ba flight is just uh, taking off over there wonder where it's going i love airports i love flying as i said the lounge has become a lot less busy because i think a lot of people were here for that first emirates flight which has now already gone so it's like about half of those people now left probably most of them are here for the 3 50 pm flight which is the one that we're on but yeah i just love it honestly i am really impressed with this lounge like i said i don't remember the last time that i got to fly business class with emirates it probably was when i was a child so it's been a while and whilst i'm normally used to airlines such as swiss or austrian airlines or lufthansa because i've got like a loyalty program with them i've been flying with them my whole life so i do get to sometimes fly business with those airlines i don't really get to do often at all with emirates so this is definitely a treat for me and i feel very lucky and i love it it's definitely like i said in my opinion of my limited knowledge of the limited lounges that i've been 
been to in terms of business class it's uh, the best one the best one for sure but i would love to try qatar airways one day or singapore airlines some of the japanese airlines i've heard good things about but so far emirates has been the best one but yeah very quickly i wanted to show you the bathrooms as well the toilets don't we i'm not going to go inside but i just wanted to show you what they do have available so this is the ladies one and one cool thing about emirates is that they also have a prayer room because it's a muslim country and a lot of people in the country are muslim so you can go and do your prayers in there but the ladies one also has a shower the shower if you want to just enjoy a nice shower before your flight you can definitely do so the gents also has a shower though so don't you worry accessible toilets are also available here there you go this is the accessible toilets also for babies and that's where the shower room is for um, the accessible toilets and then for the gents you've also got a shower here so there you go i said i wasn't going to show you the showers but i've just come in and had a quick look and it's such a private area that i'm like well why not some of you might be curious as to what you're going to get if you do choose to shower at the airport in the lounge so there you go this is the shower area you've got the little shower head over there you've got some soaps some uh i guess i guess body wash and probably shampoo as well to use have some nice fresh towels here as well and you can also get yourself some bath towels on request and then yeah this is the sink area you do get a pretty basic hair dryer by the looks of it and it's telling you to save water etc if you want to but um yeah not bad at all really cool to have the option to shower if you want to before your flight to keep ahead about 10 seconds if you think seeing a toilet at the airport is a bit weird but <laughs> I also wanted to show you just one of the toilet cubicles in the lounge because one thing that I love again about Emirates and the UAE is that they have waters similar to I suppose you know how in Japan they've got the bidets and stuff here in the Middle East in the UAE it's just water they always use water to wash themselves when they go to the toilet and I personally love it I think it's absolutely amazing I am obviously from the Middle East myself so I grew up using water myself i suppose that might be a bit tmi but I, I do think it's really interesting that even just in their lounges emirates airlines has the water included because it's such a big thing in, in the uae so yeah perfect nice and clean love it with that though guys it is almost time for us to board i think they've opened up the gate so we're gonna slowly but surely leave the emirates lounge this beautiful lounge and make our way to the gate the cool thing is we actually get to board straight from the lounge which makes life so much easier just means you can just you know stand up from your seat and go straight onto the plane it's amazing <laughs> get used to this honestly loving life so much and i just spoke to a lovely staff member as well who checked my passport and stuff and she was just i asked her how she was she said she's good she asked me how i was i was like yeah i'm not too bad just a bit tired because i haven't had much sleep and she was like well you've got a six hour flight to enjoy and get some rest and i'm looking forward to that i'm going to try and show you as much as possible of the flight but i'm probably also going to sleep a little bit so i'll try my best to show you at least the food the food is important and here we are hello how are you, hey, how are you? yeah not bad thank you yeah. thank you very much it's a uh, 15 d thank you very much thank you thank you so much so this is my seat over here seat number 15 d um, you've got my mom next to me as well she's right next to me she's um, she's really happy she's got the window seat i'm in the aisle but um, yeah, it looks like we've got quite a lot of things. That's the headphones over here. We've got, of course, the standard pillow and the duvet. The seats themselves look really comfortable. I love the layout. I love the design. So much better. I'm sorry to say so much better than Virgin Atlantic that I flew with recently. Their upper class, just the layout of their seats I wasn't the biggest fan of. But yeah, you've got a little mini bar here with Evian's, the best water in the world. My favorite still water anyway, I absolutely love it. I know I'm really weird, I like judging water. You've got your USB areas, your plugs, etc. And then socks and eye shades. So that's good. Yeah, it's a really nice little section. Again, just loving the way it's designed. This is the kind of control, remote control for games, etc. And the seat itself is probably the main thing. Of course, this will turn into a bed. Looks like the one behind me is also empty at the moment. And then here it is. I've just uh, sat down in my seat. Again, that's my mom right next to me. So it's actually nice to have a travel companion on this uh, flight. Oh, there you go. She's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> and um, yeah, so the, the, the screen is absolutely ginormous. Like, really huge screen. One of the biggest ones I've seen on any airline information communication entertainment ice welcome we are going to have a look at some of the films and entertainment they have going on later on 
there seems to be a little, um, I guess, foot rest area down here, which I'm just going to really quickly test out. Yeah, it's alright, I'm quite short. <laughs> but yeah, you've got a place for your bags. I've got my bag down here at the moment. Overall, the cabin for business class at Emirates looks fantastic on first glance. We've just been served our first drinks of the flight. I went for champagne, which I don't normally go for, but when you're flying business, you might as well, right? The, the other options were, I think, orange juice and apple juice, which you guys know normally my go-to drink is apple juice, but today, we're drinking champagne and cheers to you guys so as you can see my mom's seat basically the way it's laid out here on Emirates business class it's like one in a row so my mom is closer to me <laughs> so you can see and then the one behind her has like everything on the right hand side instead of the left hand side so it's actually a good place the seat behind my mom would be a good place for solo travelers because you'd feel like you're very very much private in your own secluded area but then it's nice because if you don't want to feel all cozy and private like that and if you're traveling with other people like my mom is always traveling with me you have the option to have your right hand side be free and have all the compartments i suppose all the stuff maybe on your left hand side it's very well designed this airplane we love it they just brought over the menu i love that it's a physical nice menu as well look at this the menu for Emirates business so we can have a look at what we want for our food our meals on the plane Lord have mercy I'm already so full from everything that we had in the lounge but you can see they've got some cocktails going on some beers some wines etc whiskey if you want to get yourself a drink but what we're interested in is the food so worse from our chef each month we like to share a little of what's cooking in our minds and ovens our dishes change frequently we're always learning about regional cuisines new techniques and most importantly what our customers prefer to find on our menu so excited to have a look at them dinner appetizer has a creamy celeriac and pear soup traditional arabic meza probably what i'm going to go for to be fair or some scallops main course you've got a beef fillet a chicken option some prawn curry which oh that looks really good i do enjoy curries especially when it has some prawns in it so already i'm struggling to make a choice and then we've got a chicken sandwich as well and dinner is served with a seasonal side salad and freshly baked bread and then for dessert they've got a berry slice a double chocolate torta obviously the one i'm probably going to go for a cheese board of course old amsterdam hard mature dutch gouda okay so it's giving you all the cheeses they have you can also get yourself some fine luxury chocolates if you wish you to or a light option would be if you prefer a lighter meal choose any two options from appetizer or dessert and we'll serve these together which is interesting and then there's a lounge as well which you can the menu about here they do have some sandwiches in the lounge roast beef real vegetables roast chicken some fresh fruits some sweets etc we are of course going to check that out later on throughout the flight but i believe that's it the other side will just have the exact same menu except in arabic thank you so much thank you so the captain's just speaking on the speakers about the journey that we're about to head on i think it's about six hours and 20 minutes he said but we've just been given our amenity kit which is really nice again very impressed and it's really interesting because men and women get different ones I think the men's one has a, like it's a black colored one and the women's is cream and I'm guessing the things that they put inside it is also different so let's have a quick look at the amenity kit and see what we have inside I do find it interesting that they give different ones to different genders why can't I open this oh, there you go it had a little clip attached to it oh wow Lord have mercy okay so I feel like I'm showing you the compartments of Mary Poppins' bag or something. We've got some tissues, which is always handy. We've got a deodorant, quite a nice one as well. This is a passion one apparently, with the smell. We have, there's a lot in here guys. We have an eau de toilette, which you can see over here. It's a Bulgari one as well, which is obviously a pretty amazing brand. Everything seems to actually be Bulgari with the, the amenity here at the Emirates uh, business class. It's pretty cool, they probably are sponsoring. Emirates, who knows, they're working together. But uh, yeah, that's a uh, lotion, body lotion over here. Again, same brand, Bulgari. We have a mirror, and I think this might be one of the things that the women's option has, and perhaps the men's doesn't. I don't know, I'm only showing in my experience as a woman, but that's cool. Here we've got some face lotion as well. Again, same as every other brand, it's the Bulgari one as well. Sorry if it's quite noisy with the captain speaking, he's currently speaking in Arabic, so I don't really understand it. But um, yeah, we get a little comb as well, which is always good. And then I think that's more realistic, we've still got a couple of things left. So oh, this might be the last one. This is, of course, the dental kit, quite a standard thing to give you in the amenity kits, no matter which business class or upper class um, airline you fly with. So yeah quite a lot of good things like again very impressed so far better than any other airline that i've flown business with it is 
fantastic. I'm definitely going to use all of this as well. Quite often you get these amenity kits and you look at the stuff inside and you're like, meh, I can give or take whatever they give me, but this is actually good quality stuff. And I love the tissues especially. Sorry, I nearly just dropped that. Love the tissues, love the mirror. And then what's this last one? The lip balm. This will be quite handy actually because sometimes my lips do get dry on a plane. Anyway, I've put everything back into my lovely cream amenity kit again now. Got the situation going on here on the iPad, which I'm not actually sure what that's for. I think you can also control this huge monitor with that. But uh, my mom's already looking at what films she wants to watch. She's a big lover of films. Unlike me, I normally just tend to sleep on airplanes. But I thought I'd quickly show you what weather's available because entertainment on uh, Emirates is phenomenal. One of the best, definitely. I'm going to check out some of the movies first. There you go. You can see already what they've got. They've got some holiday ones. They've got Star Wars. They've got Kids Wizarding World. They've got some Arabic films. There is honestly so much, like so much. I can't even. There's even some films in Farsi, which is obviously my mother tongue. My language is Farsi Persian. So that's pretty awesome. And you can see some of the varieties they've got going on here. I don't really normally watch a lot of uh, Persian films myself but I have seen a couple of these and they are pretty good but if you thought we were just limited to Farsi films no 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 they've got some films from Asia from Latin America from Africa this is the Asian one as you can see Africa Europe Pakistan classic Bollywood honestly the options are endless here on Emirates some Arabic films drama romance and musicals that's probably one of my favorite genres oh I think they're about to do some kind of announcement again so we're gonna watch that now take a moment to locate the emergency exit nearest to your seat which may be behind you all right well the safety announcement has just stopped i thought i'd quickly show you the romance and musical section as well just because i'm curious they've got oliver from 1968 uh catherine jenkins lord have mercy so many options they've got elvis they've got what else do they have oh wow they've even got dear evan hansen which i've been curious about seeing the film didn't get good reviews at all i've not, I've not really even seen the musical to be fair but i might check out the film just because i'm curious at some point yeah, they do have quite a lot going on here, which is great. Thank you so much, thank you. And we've just been given some warm towels, which I love so much. It's one of the best things about flying business. I'm just gonna put this on my face. Loving the music in the background, by the way. Anyway, I think we should be going up very, very soon, starting our ascent in the next five minutes or so. It is currently about five minutes past four, so it's been about 15 minutes of a delay, which I don't even really count as a delay at all. But yeah, looking forward to this flight, and I think the next time I speak to you will probably be when they serve us our meal, our dinner, which I'm excited about, but I'm also not ready for, because I'm still quite full from the food and the lounge, but I'll see you then. so I really should do it more often but yeah I watched a bit of that but even with that I'm just so tired that I ended up falling asleep this pillow was really comfortable the seats here honestly really really lovely but the funny thing is as I was just kind of having a nice little nap on this lovely Emirates business class seat because it was honestly so comfortable uh, a lovely crew member came and asked if I wanted a mattress and I was like sorry because I already feel so comfortable and I know that the, the seats do turn into beds with the little things here I'm, I don't plan on you know turning into a bed just yet because I think we've got dinner still but yeah I didn't expect a mattress to come along so hopefully you can see right now what the seat looks like now it is a lot comfier I mean I literally told the crew member I was like I, I didn't think this seat could get even more comfy but it can turns out it can with the mattress so there you go I'm gonna have an incredible sleep hopefully after food I <sighs> I could just sleep now. I'm trying my best to watch um, this How to Train Your Dragon film and it is pretty good. 
to be honest, the bits that I've been able to watch. Also, these headphones are nice as well. I really like good noise cancelling ones, but yeah, I can't help it. I'm so tired that from time to time I just drift to sleep. And with this new mattress that I've got behind me, of course, I've got my pillow as well. Does it get any better than this? I don't think so. So I've just uh, asked for another apple juice, basically. Well, he came to ask for our drinks of choice for our dinner, and I decided to go for an apple juice. And I don't know why I said another apple juice, because I didn't have an apple juice earlier. I had a champagne, a glass of champagne. I had an apple juice earlier in the lounge, though. But yeah, looking forward to having one now. Probably going to wait until my food arrives as well. Still watching a little bit of How Train a Dragon, just bits and bobs of it, to be honest. Not the full thing, but I am enjoying it. Oh, thank you so much. Can I ask olives, please? Um, yeah, why not? Enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank thank you. You. They've also just brought over some nuts. And the nice thing about this is that it's actually warm, like the plate it comes in is warm. Let me just touch the, oh my god, yeah, even the nuts, they've like warmed them up, heated it up, which is just so lovely. So I'm just gonna nibble on these as I continue watching the film. Mm. I love nuts. They make such good snacks and the fact that they're warm is a game changer. I feel like I need to have warm nuts at home more often. I don't know, just microwave them or something. A lovely crew member just came and set the table for us because the food should be coming up soon. It looks really nice and also don't mind the cable here. I'm just charging my phone. But um, yeah, looking forward to dinner, which should be coming very, very soon. It's also a big table, I would say, as far as business class tables go anyway. Nice and big. Also, in case you're wondering, we've been in the air for close to two hours, I want to say now, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. So it's going really fast, honestly. I kind of don't want this flight to end because it's only about a six hour flight anyway. And after dinner, I'm probably just going to try and sleep a little bit, you know, go fully horizontal on my seat and get maybe an hour of sleep, two hours maybe and then go and check out the lounge. Also, yes, this is, again, my cable for my uh, phone, and this is the one for the headphones, which I have taken off at the moment, because they are such good noise cancelling ones that when I have them on, I genuinely can't even hear my own voice, which is obviously a problem when I'm trying to vlog. So my mom's food has arrived, her starter. We both went for the same starter. Mine should be arriving very soon as well. We've also got nice little tablecloths now on the table. I didn't expect the starter to be as big as my mom's is though, but obviously I'm having the same thing, so Lord have mercy. So my starter has also arrived now as you can see we both went for the traditional Arabic meze It consists of hummus, muhammara, baba ganoj, stuffed vine leaf and kalamata olives apparently And I really like the little olive oil situation they've got going on there as well It just looks so adorable we've Got some butter, some salads, some breads Yeah, looking forward to eating this Well as if all of this wasn't enough They've also just come with some bread as well So extra bread, looks pretty good Tastes lovely too, it's quite garlicky actually, I love it. I'm just gonna have a little bit of the hummus now. Looks pretty good, smells delicious as well, so hopefully it's gonna taste nice. I can confirm, it also tastes nice. Also, I really like this kind of bread, like I guess typical Arabic bread, but the garlic bread, the garlic bread is the one for me. Next, I'm gonna try a little bit of this red dip now. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it looks good. I like trying new things, so. Oh, okay, can't quite tell what it is, but it tastes a little bit peppery, I want to say. This red one, I don't know, it tastes good. Next, it's time to try a little bit of this green mushy type dip, which again, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's also quite difficult to get out of, but I do have a little bit of it on this uh, slice of bread here. Okay, it smells very fresh, quite minty maybe, I'm not sure. Let's give it a go. Wow. That might be my favorite one so far. That's really good. Honestly, Middle Eastern food is just so good because the flavors that your mouth, your tongue gets to experience are limited, honestly. And this is why I love trying new things like that green thing I've never had before, the red thing never had before. Hummus, obviously, I love and I've had many a time. But yeah, the Arabic meza so far has been phenomenal. The one last thing we've got on our plate is, of course, this, which I think I have had one of these before. We call them dolmes in Farsi. It's probably gonna be something similar. I think there's to be some kind of rice or maybe some aubergine in there. We'll give it a go. Hmm. Delicious. Honestly, with just four compartments that we've seen so far, I've managed to have four very different flavors in my mouth and I love it. And the food that I've had, I know it's just a starter, but not only does it taste delicious and very flavorsome, it also just really does not taste like airplane food. I hope you know what I'm trying to say with that. Because, I mean, I like food even on airplanes. I eat whatever they give me, even if it's economy, whatever airline. I'm always happy to try the food. 
but quite often with airplane food you can just there's something about the taste that makes you realize that it's airplane food you know whereas this just really does not taste at all like airplane food whatsoever and i love that anyway food was delicious but whilst i wait for my main course to arrive i just wanted to show you this little i guess uh remote as well which if you don't want to use the touch screen on your screen you can just use this it makes life so much easier you can browse through the films the tv shows and everything here as well i just want to launch what's going on here that's a news thing and then you get whatever you choose from on your screen so very nice and easy just makes life so much easier i love that emirates thinks of every little detail so our main courses have arrived my mom went for the malvani prawn curry which is spiced prawns with coconut served with green pea poilo garnish with fried onion sultanas and cashew nuts and my mom really enjoyed it she also gave me a little bit of her food i'm trying it right now as you can see and so yeah tastes delicious really good very flavorsome um it's quite spicy as well in fact i would say it's probably on the very spicy side of things so if you don't like spicy food probably not for you but yeah very nice so far and then i decided to go for the bazaar chicken which is chicken in a traditional arabic spice marinade served on aromatic rice with fried onions and pistachios which looks amazing i'm very much looking forward to trying this out here's a better look of it as well with the lights on so hopefully you can see the beauty of this dish even better i hope it tastes as good as it looks because it does look pretty good that is amazing that is so so good well i don't really want to be dramatic but i think i may have just had the best meal i've ever had on a plane with that chicken and rice that i had it was delicious it was so good definitely up there as one of the best meals i've had anyway on an aeroplane but um yeah everything about the chicken the rice was obviously delicious the chicken the sauce they'd use for it which is apparently like a traditional arabic spiced sauce marinade the sauce was delicious so good it did have a bit of a kick to it not quite as much as the curry that my mom had but it was fantastic and I loved how you could you know get a bit of a hint of the pistachio but not too much so the pistachio flavor was definitely there just it wasn't overpowering and what was the most overpowering thing was actually probably the sauce they use but with that being said you could still taste the actual chicken as well because the chicken was also just fantastically cooked really nicely seasoned the sauce was definitely the star of the show though the rice I enjoyed everything just everything about that meal was phenomenal I can't wait for dessert now before I get to my dessert I wanted to quickly show you my mom dessert she decided to go for the fruit option and it's really nice to present it she's happy with it and mine is of course the chocolate option apparently it's meant to be a double chocolate tart with some orange puree inside it it looks pretty good we also get given a complimentary chocolate box as well from emirates which is cute well i'm gonna take a little bite oh wow it's a bit more hard than i imagine it to be maybe there might be like a little layer of biscuit on the bottom as well but um i normally tend to love chocolate desserts so hopefully i'm gonna enjoy this it's lovely it really is tastes a bit like a chocolate orange as you can imagine with it having some orange puree in there um the chocolate bit is mainly mousse so this area is just kind of like chocolate mousse really nice chocolate mousse as well and it does have a bit of a crunch to it as well with a biscuit on the bottom right after that delicious meal it's time to go for a little bit of a wonder just to stretch my legs as well this is also your five second morning if for some reason you find toilets content a bit bizarre five four three two one there we go i am now in one of the toilet cubicles on the plane that was definitely not my um toilet flushing but somebody next door must be flushing anyway i do understand some people might not want to see a toilet on their screens but i always find it interesting and i like showcasing it to you as well especially on airlines because some people want to know what it's like right and the one for emirates airlines business class is pretty basic it's quite nice though it's got the kind of nice uh stone-like vibe going on kind of similar to the rest of business class anyway got the standard mirror i look so tired lord have mercy i do need to get some sleep you got the sink and it's nice to get some facial tissues actually that's a nice bonus and what's here let's have a look oh they've got some dental kits too so that is actually very 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 practical i love that oh yeah and this is the actual toilet seat again same theming as the rest of business class there you go hang on no that's not it about the toilet seat they've also got some bulgari sprays they've got a couple of different ones one for men and i want to say this one might be for women the other one literally says um aqua pour which is for men but this one 
smells quite nice and now I smell of Bulgari randomly after being in the toilets for like five minutes filming the tour for you and before I head back into my seat I thought I'd quickly show you the little lounge area on the plane as well for business class they've got a variety of different sweets and snacks some drinks if you want to get oh my god they've got some verve here it's a variety of different drinks as well like literally like a little mini bar here on the airplane for the business class people and then some sandwiches as well let's have a look this seems to be maybe like a chicken sandwich perhaps some fruits some fresh fruits apples oranges etc what are these smart m&ms okay there's some original m&ms some sea salt crisps yeah just a variety of yeah snacks and little drinks some evian water bottles my favorite you've also got the big screen here so if you want to just hang out here and chill it's a nice little area and the main bar is just over there look at the decor again emirates just goes extra i love that just some random flowers so i'm pretty sure they're fake but still and this is where you can actually sit they do have some tables as well if you want to just hang out here chill it's not too busy at the moment i'm just going to sit down for five seconds actually just for a change it's such a novelty for a lot of people that there are literally people taking photos at you might have seen the flash people taking photos with the bar here which i just showed you um, i might go and have a look as well i might take a photo who knows follow me on instagram if you want to see if i take a picture as well i don't think i will to be fair moments later well i've somehow been convinced to go and take my photo by the bar as well the staff the crew members here are incredible so that photo might be happening literally right now thank you so much thank you me with their Polaroid photo here it's just uh, developing right now but before we go I wanted to show you some of the snacks on the actual bar as well it was a little bit busier earlier so I couldn't quite show you them we've got some bark covers I might pick one up even though I'm honestly so so full I'm so full but these do look pretty good and I do enjoy a nice bark cover so I might have to go for one of these so I've got my bark cover back on my seat now for later but I also wanted to show you this the photo that they took with the Polaroid I love it it's such a cute little souvenir it's a season's greeting from Emirates so it's probably like quite a Christmassy thing as well I mean I look so <laughs> quite quite awkward to be fair in that photo but I look happy which is the main thing just me chilling there Christmas 2022 and it could be a nice little postcard that you could send to someone if you wish to or just keep it as a keepsake for yourself which is probably what I'm gonna do but yeah I like it it's a nice act from Emirates but we actually only have just under three hours left now of the flight unfortunately it's very rare that I say this about a flight but I honestly I'm enjoying this experience so much that I wish the flight was a bit longer I feel like an Emirates flight would be perfect business class for a very long haul flight like one that's closer to 10 hours rather than only six but um, yeah, they have now turned the lights off, as you can see. They also have these cute stars on the ceiling of the plane. It's a gorgeous airline, honestly. So, so good. But um, yeah, I guess it's kind of meant to be sleep time. <laughs> it's currently, well, UK time is about 7.30 p.m. I'm using my little lamp, side lamp, by the way. That's why you can kind of see me. Terrible lighting, though. But yeah, close to 8 p.m. in the UK. And I want to say around maybe 11 p.m. <laughs> Dubai time or UAE time which is fair enough makes sense to sleep so yeah I think what I'm gonna do now is slowly but surely turn my lovely comfortable seat into an even more comfortable seat horizontal bed and maybe try and get about an hour's sleep or something that would be nice I've uh, pressed already with slowly but surely <laughs> I love doing this it's one of my like favorite things about flying business <laughs> terrible angle but Oh my god, it, it keeps going. This is like... I am fully horizontal now, like fully flat. And one thing I love about, again, the design of... Um, sorry about that's just part of my camera. One thing I love about the design of the Emirates Business Class cabins is the fact that the seats, you've got so much control over them, which is one thing that I just found a little bit frustrating with Virgin Atlantic when I flew upper class with them last month. Whereas, yeah, like I said, most business uh, class seats normally actually tend to be more similar to the one that I'm on right now, where you can literally say exactly how you want it to be. So some people might not want it to be fully flat like I am. In fact, I probably would want it to be. There you go, I'm bringing myself a little bit higher up. 
I like having a little bit of a slant if that makes sense I don't like being fully flat personally but it's nice that you have the option there is of course one thing left to complete this bed though and that's of course the duvet so in the next few seconds you're gonna be watching me you know lying down with my duvet this really nice comfortable duvet as well I just can't I can't even with this bed I'm so excited like I said I really do wish that the flight was longer so I could just enjoy the flat bed the comfort of the seats the pillow the duvet as well which is so nice and soft as much as possible but with that being said i'm gonna turn the light off there you go oh wow big contrast it's so cute as well because as i'm talking to you now because i'm fully horizontal what i can actually see above me on the ceiling are these beautiful stars again a beautiful touch with emirates airlines emirates airlines like i said is so much about the gimmicks it's about comfort and fantastic customer service great food as well but a lot of it is also about making things look just amazing you know what i mean and i love that about emirates the latest uh, weather report shows a very nice temperature from Dubai. It's only 23 degrees Celsius with uh, clear skies and light winds. There's a possibility that uh, due to the intensity of the traffic, we might have to hold a little bit before shooting our approach. Local time in Dubai is 1.40 in the morning and we're expecting to land at uh, 2.31. We'd like to thank you for uh, choosing our flagship Airbus A380 service in Emirates. Thank you for your attention. Hello, good morning. I mean, it's not morning time. It's meant to be something like 1 a.m. or something, the captain said, Dubai time. But um, I slept quite well, actually. I mean, it was a short nap, about an hour and a half, two hours, just because the flight itself was quite short, but I did sleep very, very well. I'm still tired, though, so um, it's a good thing that by the time we get to Dubai, it's gonna be night time so I can continue my sleep. But the captain did just say that, um, yeah, we should be starting our descent the next 10 minutes or so so they've just turned the lights on <laughs> today we just saw that might have been my mom my mom's hand um so yeah i'm gonna have to go back to my upright position soon but this has been lovely And we have landed as you might be able to see from behind me we're currently actually sitting at Starbucks just for a quick drink I've got myself a vanilla latte iced vanilla latte at like 3 30 in the morning just because I felt like I needed it um, but yeah the flight was really really good fantastic the service on there phenomenal one of the best I've experienced on any airline and I would say that about economy class as well on, on Emirates I've flown economy with Emirates quite a few times and I would highly recommend that as well the service on Emirates is just phenomenal regardless of what cabin you're in food was good the airplane itself was really good it was just a really nice flight overall not much turbulence either landed really well love the entertainment options just 10 out of 10 all around honestly one good thing about landing at like three o'clock in the morning is that the airport is so so quiet that's why we're just chilling here but that is more or less the end of the vlog i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for following along leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite airline is obviously emirates is meant to be one of the best but i would love to try some other airlines in the future if i can I love flying and I enjoy experiencing different airlines but that is it obviously I'm filming this at the end of December 2022 I'm here to spend Christmas with my family but you're probably gonna be watching this in January so if you are watching this in January happy new year and yeah make sure you watch
watch all my Disneyland vlogs from last month as well from December of 2022 I have a whole playlist of those and also just a lot of other videos from last month I posted a video almost every day in December of 2022 and hopefully 2023 will be an exciting and good year of traveling and vlogs for you as well thank you so much for following along I am really tired I probably shouldn't have gotten a coffee to be fair but it's okay we still have to travel to where we're staying from the airport so I can't sleep quite yet I've probably still got another 45 minutes of traveling but that is it for the vlog thank you and I will see you in the next one bye bye